We are back for round two of Typhlosion action. Uh, I made one edit in making Typhlosion blaze. We're gonna see how that plays out because every time I've used this team, Typhlosion, I have two spinners, right? And Typhlosion is always in a situation where it's low on health attacking. And so I know with Inteleon, Torrent comes into play a lot. Um, we're freezing rain, dope. Um, <clears throat> I know with Inteleon, rain comes into play a lot. So I think it's it's gonna be very cool to observe. Um, what am I trying to say? It's gonna be cool to observe <clears throat> potentially Blaze coming into play. So very interesting team while by opponents in um, four water types, um, a potential revival blessing user and Palmot and and Toad Screw. I want Toad Screw gone so my Garg can curse, can Terra Water curse, Terra Curse Garg eats. My big thing is just to make sure that the Azu doesn't belly drum. I also could destroy him by Terra and Corviknight. I just need the to the Toast Crew is really the, the key thing I want God, right? Um, Garganical is obviously going to be a big issue. I'm sure he's aware of that. Um, which is why I'm going to be steering down Toad Crew. Yeah, the Toad Crew is just a bitch for me. Um, Mainly it's Spore. Mm. Mm. Great Test Terra Water can go crazy here as well. <clears throat> mm. Rocks, obviously. Okay. Toad Screw, Spore, potentially. Hazards, no spin blocking. What does Cell Scroll use? Spore. What does this shit even do? Is it or not? I'm a little, I'm a little concerned about the Toad Scroll, but <clears throat> we'll be, we should be fine. Um. Okay. I know the Toad Screw is going to start. It's just a matter of what does it have. Like, can it do anything to me? Let's let's find out. Because <clears throat> I want it gone for sure. Uh, even if he were to get up all the spikes, that's not that big of a deal. It matters, but it's not the end of the world. As far as what I'm, I'm, I'm planning to win with. So I'm going to play this in a way where <clears throat> I'm structuring my positioning with my water types. To deal with any potential outcome, um, I'm guessing the palm mod is revival blessing, right? And um, there's nothing you can go into here. I think he might not be Sash, and he's fearing a negative priority sport. His helmet, okay. No, I just went for spikes. Okay. Last we'll his prayer. Let's see what he does. Spikes again. Okay. So sludge bomb is stronger. I can poison him. Don't get the poison, but he's gone. Which is great. Positioning wise. He has knock. I was wondering, I was like, does this run knock? Like, what are these? So, <clears throat> here, Pelipper would come in. Um, this could be Spec Spell. Obviously, the knock hurts my Golduck. Uh, if it's Spec Spell, then okay. So, he hard switches to Golduck. <clears throat> does not get poisoned. A couple ways to do this, but who would I set? Because I could go Torco hard here <clears throat> as he tries to nasty plot. Because um, if I let him nasty plot, I have to sack Torco. Who don't I need? I don't need Typhlosion. So what I end up doing is I'm gonna go hard Torco here. Uh, actually, my team is actually very slow. Seems actually very slow. So Typhlosion is the only thing I have to outspeed this, which is fucking whack, but it's my fault. I don't know what this is packing. Well, I know it probably has life orb. So I'm guessing either what surf 
All I'll do is go Pex first. <clears throat> Surf. I uh, eat. Does he have Psychic? I mean, if he has Psychic, then he'll use it here, right? Like, if not, then we're fine. Okay, so I don't think he has that. Okay, so we outplayed the, the Golduck situation. Um, let's see. So that's what I meant when I was like, the positioning is very important. <clears throat> it's not a Golduck can't even knock out my picks. Yeah. Oh, come on! Ah! Guys, I talk about this shit all the fucking time, man. Where we play to excellence and shit like that happens. My pick should be alive in his gold duck. Very big turn, man. Now I can't revenge this. Fuck, bro. I lose two mons to this shit now. That is so fucking whack, bro. Let me calc this shit. That's such a fucking big turn, man. God damn, bro. That's incredibly frustrating. Ah, uh, Golduck. You, you, nasty blood. No, life or Let's use, assume he's. See if Torkoal dies. Fuck, dude. Alright, we'll just keep our cooler and play it the same way. What am I talking about? There's even no point in. I could rocks, but. Because I mean, I'd probably faint here. He's probably gonna nasty plot anyway. So, Corviknight. Um, it's incredibly frustrating, man. Golly. This is actually not bad positioning for me. Because Azu comes in. <clears throat> he shot a ball here. Does he belly jump? He does. Mm. Incredibly frustrating turn, man. Do I need to check his reign? If I sack Torko here, Goat Tusk. Because I could Terra Water my Tusk. Ah, okay. What to do, what to do. The reason I'd have to sack Torkoal is because I don't know how much Tusk does to the Yazu. So what I'll do is go Torkoal, um, I mean go... Let's see, Corviknight. I go Corviknight on Iron Defense, what can you do? Ah, incredibly frustrating, man. Incredibly frustrating. Uh, oh, wow, he fucking survived. Which I was concerned about. I mean, I figured he'd slow. He's slower than me. So the Pelipper comes in. If I tear a water iron defense, I think no matter what... I'm fine. Yeah, because Palma has to go for. Oh, shit. Okay. Now you see why the hacks matter so much. I shoot an earthquake there. Why didn't I an earthquake? That was actually a misplay. Why the fuck didn't I earthquake there? I don't know why I forgot that this shit was a fighting type. Well, no shit he's gonna go for that jam. <sighs> That's insane. Really frustrating, Rose. A nuzzle. Okay. So CC, I lose now. Okay. It happens. Um well, that's what I was like. I need to play the positioning to perfection. And I did. You know, and I can't control the grit. Um, but I should have EQ'd. If I EQ'd, <coughs> if I EQ'd with Gark there, I still could have won. But Golduck, Golduck killing my picks and his Golduck staying alive cost me two Pokemon.
But hey, just got to. This, this what's crazy is throughout this run, it, almost every loss has been to something like that. Like I'm trying to scan through a game where it wasn't. I remember the Slow King game where I just threw because I thought Iron Moth wouldn't kill me. So I had that one, assuming I didn't get parried. But that's the only one where it wasn't to a crit. Okay. My job now is to not take Blast Game into this one. But you can understand how aggravating this can be. With undeserved wins over and over and over again. Didn't expect Hydreigon. I like it matters, but still. I guess it can matter depending on what it is. I didn't even think the turn through. Let me let me calm down. What am I winning with? I can overwhelm him with. Um, can overwhelm him with. Um, with um, potential garg um, with curse. The Mungus is annoying. Potential garg. That is obviously it's gonna knock. Anok doesn't really matter in this case. I don't want my tusk getting knocked first. If I can avoid it. My tusk is really good. If I can get his guard dropped. So me Bray Bird, he didn't expect me to have Bray Bird, so this is actually phenomenal. It's like with the BB back, which uh, it's your turn. Okay, so I get the core's item. So bit by bit we're getting here. Um, you may have Dark Pulse if that's the case then. So it'll be it. Draco Meteor is actually it's close to it too. What? 50% he specs. Okay. I was going to say, what the fuck just happened? So it specs Dragon, which is good information. I thought it was subplot. So the fact that it's not subplot is great for Garg. Because uh, I don't, I can curse up without worrying about that too much. This Tusk has to be concerned about my, my picks can't just do as he pleases because I can surf him and destroy him so he's it's you know, got to just earthquake um, what do I want to do here yeah he's gonna stay and do the tough things that we do you know how these these things go um, I don't even think this Corvinette can touch me I'm not a hundred I don't I doubt it's brave but I'm pretty sure it's body press like this corp does Tuscan smack him if he's not careful. Let me see what he has. Does he have Ray Bird? Yeah, I figured it was Iron Defense. Okay, good to know. Should you turn here? But he presses. So this is phenomenal positioning. This is excellent positioning. Because what this allows for me to do is just surf straight up. Um, I didn't expect the Core V to. Uh, infestation, sir. Uh, <clears throat> the Core V isn't too, we go, too much of a concern, not yet at least. Um, I want to, I guess he could drag on, but as long as I'm healthy enough to take it on, I'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, I figured Garganaco would come in. Uh, let me think, how does this usually go? Well, he has to recover turn one if he has it. Yeah. And then you acid spray. Well, surf would do, because Garg being gone makes him Typhlosion fodder. So let's assume he's. What's the worst case scenario? You mean Terra Water? Okay, it's Terra Water. All right. So this actually lost a pex like this before making this mistake. Um, twenty-five percent. If I were to Terra Fairy. Or to 
Terra Fairy. I can do this again later. I forced this Terra. It's probably Max but if, if I Terra Fairy, how much am I doing? It's Sludge Bomb. I don't think I win that. I think he'll still have more recovers than me. So let's Garganical here. He earthquaked. So if I did Terra Fairy, I would have killed his Garg. But I didn't think he would do what he just did. Um, <clears throat> earthquake was fine, uh, assuming I leave, left my pecs in and didn't Terra right. So I understand the logic there. We're not going to get this Terra down on Moonga's Great Tusk is horrible. Primarily because the, the salt carry shoe. Yeah, I'm not letting you take my item, brah, brah, brah. Um, hmm. So the Corv only has iron defense. I'll slow the pace a bit. <clears throat> I was gonna double the Torco here to get my Typhlosion going and get up rocks. But um, I can afford to to slow play it because what's going to end up happening is that every time I do this, this Corviknight has to come in. This Corviknight has to do Corviknight things like Iron Defense. U turns though. But again, with every bit of chip, though Corviknight isn't that relevant in this matchup, I can body him with my Corviknight. Oh, I'm assuming he's not bulky, Ace, all that stuff. Um, so we're going to AV Pex first in case he has a fire move. Dark Pulse. Okay. Don't have any counterplay for that, so I need to be careful. He's definitely going to use it again. If I if he did 31, so if I were to Terra Fair Infestation, I'm not 1v1 in him. Uh, but Terra Fair, I need more health. Good Terra Fair. I might have to Terra this actually. Our guard doesn't need the Terra to win. Nothing else needs the Terra. Uh, Cause that'll give me a lot of value. Please, for the love of God, picks come through. Okay. <clears throat> so he's gonna two kill me. But the big, the big thing is that um, the big thing is that assuming I get this sludge bomb off. Well, it, it is what it is. But we can tusk. He's gonna not enjoy this obviously because he specs. Go back to picks and get my region. Now I have a Hydreigon answer straight up, right? Um, <clears throat> so now I can Torque. Oh, well, he stayed in. He stayed in to go for the axe. Okay, that's fine. My picks is back. And I know Torque would have eaten it, and Torque doesn't need to be a fool for any particular reason. So, um, you know, it is what it is. And Garg, Cinderace, I mean, unless this one is one with the, the high jump kick. They don't usually have that these days. If it did have high jump kick, that means my Corviknight has a better chance. Him being Specs is an issue though, so that's why I needed to tear my picks. And so we're likely staring down Among Us. The way he's playing Among Us is interesting. Uh, why in God's name would you go Garganical? Okay. I don't want to do here. This is a this is such an annoying. This is such an annoying build. Mm. No, he's recovering. He has to. And now catches a Mungus. He saw, he's staying into sock here. What? Because if his guard gets too low, like it is now. Um. So I get. Okay, let's see. Ninety-six percent. Let's see. Because I I knocked his item. No, I didn't knock his item off. So he's at 58%. Now I go Typhlosion on his Among Us. He should go, I don't know why he's not going Among Us. Oh, Great Tusk comes in. Expected Among Us. I don't have the sun anymore, but that's fine. I think it's, it's not fine. I needed the sun turns, because I don't think, um, wow, Ace took two. Yo, these modern Aces are some bullshit, bros. Like, you're not supposed to be taking two Eruption. You're a pith, you're a fucking, Cinderace, you're pathetic. You're supposed to be pathetic. 
So I guess I'm not keeping corned beef last cheese. Or maybe I can. I don't know. I tear it already, so oh, I mean, ugh, I just want the cinderace gone if I can help it, but um, because he wants to knock my item off. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to keep it. I don't get why he's pressing rocks. Well, I, 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 there's logic behind it. If I get rocks up, it helps me a lot. It's just that there's nothing on my team that. <clears throat> There's nothing on the team that Torkoal outspeeds that can get rocks up versus get can, that it can get rocks up versus. So, um, Great Bird is free here because uh, <clears throat> Corviknight is the the only solution. No, actually, better to Iron Defense this turn. I didn't expect Ace, but I'll live with it. I know he has Will O Wisp. Because this is about positioning at this point. I need to kill one of his mons. All of them are, are integral to to him staying in this game. And this is where he goes for um, for knock. Hmm. My guard probably can take an EQ from 60. I just don't want to get knocked. Garg's lefties matters a lot. But if he leaves it in to knock... Um, <clears throat> yeah, the Great Tusk is now seriously hindered. Uh, the way he's playing Cinderace is as if he assumes that it's invincible. Uh, but I still gotta patience this out. With rocks up, I'll be able to destroy him. And if I can trap his Garg. So what's the worst case if Cinderace comes back in and U-turns again? With no damage. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's actually a little better to Brave Bird here. Garg comes in, which I didn't expect. But <clears throat> I'll be alright. It's not ideal, but at least my Tusk gets to spin because Tusk comes in on rocks. Unless he salt gears turn one. But his, I'm gonna force his force his Garg out on spin. He does salt cure. Okay. I disagree with the play, but it worked out there. Well not worked out because Tusk gets to spin. But, um, let me see, rocks, do I actually want to spin, yeah, I kind of have to, I kind of have to, yeah, the reason I was saying this, because he doesn't have any Typhlosion switchings, so I'm like, well, why would you not recover the guard, but the way Cinderace took it, maybe his guard can take two, I mean, I'd be very disappointed if Corbin, I mean, but it's probably max but F guard, so maybe, uh, the biggest issue I'm running into is, is, I need one of his mons gone. If one of them die, <clears throat> the opening comes. Uh, but it's far from far from over. I see several ways I can win this game. Uh, particularly with my curse garg, um, I just need his Amoongus. That's why I tear my picks. If you look at it from a standpoint of like defense, between switching from garg, Corviknight, and um, Pex, I can wall everything on his team. Uh, he can do a lot of work to me as well, but he needs to play perfectly. He's probably running a calc on the eruption right now. I guess I could have went Torco there and gotten rid of rocks. Uh -uh. The problem is that the Cinderace obviously can just court change them back. If the guard comes in, <clears throat> let me see, one, two, three, seventeen percent tusk. So he's gonna give Cinderace up, which means I can get rocks up, which is amazing. And this is the only thing I was afraid of for Corviknight. <clears throat> so this is phenomenal. This is exactly what we wanted. Because uh, we get two things out of out of this. We get to Salt Cure. Oh, let's see, Tusk is 17. I guess I can't stop the Tusk. Well, I can Rapid Spin, I suppose. Versus Corviknight, 40 turns. I don't think Body Press would knock me out. Um, <clears throat> so the Tusk is going to come in, but I'm outside of Tusk range. So it's going to be a very similar situation to mine. I can't knock him out with Earthquake, so there's no point. Uh, maybe the Amoongus does not have Giga Drain. So yeah, Tusk comes in as expected. 
And now he's going to go for the stealth rocks. He's like, okay, well, I'm going to get these bands up. Uh, he may not, but he won't. Uh, yeah. I had to take a slight risk there, but for the positioning, the positioning is immaculate. So the, it's, it's worth it, but I do need to get rid of these rocks. So it goes Hydreigon. Um, I'll recover once. Flash can. Uh, okay. Okay. So Gargs. So I saw Cure. Hmm. Still have my lefties. Yeah, I need to get rid of these fucking rocks. Okay. Yes, flash cannon. <coughs> Choice specs flash cannon. Now the switch to um Yeah. This is great. He's doing he's fucking he's fucking up. Crit him with soccer. Big, 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 big crit, big crits. Uh I need my son though. This is where Blaze might come into play. The Blaze Flames right I talked about. Blaze and Sun washes him. The reason I don't have to worry about this is because if he because if he keeps playing the way he's playing. Um, let me think. Have I shown curse? I have. Did I come on? What just happened? What I don't want to happen to have happen is he, him going to Hydreigon. Okay, it goes Corviknight. I didn't want him going Hydreigon on a. Um, so this is perfect. This is the matchup I wanted. So now Torkoal can spin because he has to roost. Yeah, Torkoal could get rocks up and spin, but spinning is way more important for the long run. I should survive body press. He doesn't even opt for it. Okay, that's his best case scenario because now I'm faster than his Gark in theory. Yes, and I get rocks up. That's big. That is big. So now you should just EQ. What? How much did it do to my Garg? 37. Yeah, I'm switching our Garg. He curses, which is a misplay. Because uh, I get to curse back. And I'm still faster than you and get to saw cure. Uh, did he saw cure me back? Yeah. So now Typhlosion has been freed since I got the rocks up. So this is a patient ass game. Man, I should have won that fucking ring game so easily, bros. So, so easily. And alas, alas. Uh, so let's think. Five recovers. He's got a curse up on me, but he's losing way more health. Um, so this is not in his advantage. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have um, cursed that turn. I literally, when I clicked it, I was like, I, I shouldn't have cursed that turn. Uh, but Pex is always going to be the play, no matter if he flash cans or not. He probably won't go for it. But even if he does, Pex is the play. Um, as you can see, I don't even get to a KO. But even if I did get to a KO, it was always a play. So now, positionally, Typhlosion. I can get a KO. Okay, doubles the Garg. Um, we go back to our Garg. Now that the sun is up. Um, Typhlosion can eat the EQs on the switch, but it's not enough, it's never enough. If I go for Salt Cure and he doesn't recover, he loses to Typhlosion. But I should be faster. Uh, he has three recovers left, 18 Salt Cures. But as I said, all I need is the positioning for Typhlosion. If he doesn't heal, but he needs to heal pronto. Yeah, I have three recovers left as does he but he has to use his with more urgency than I so I just saw Kira again here unlikely what is uh, Among Us he played the Among Us so strangely I gotta time the okay he's staying in two Riku okay so that's two more recovers gone uh, I should have used the sun turns a little better Recovers. If I use one this turn, my recovers on guard don't matter much. Not for my win con, at least. He has one left. Now he has to switch. 
That was the Corby, I didn't expect Corby. Again, very odd how he's using Among Us. So now the matchup versus Garg and Corv again is, is pretty much a wrap. So now all I need to do is go to Torco and I get a KO. But I'll always attack positions that cannot be defended in this case. You can't guard against my Typhlosion. So yes, I could have defensively pivoted on um, defensively pivot, pivoted. Um, and I, I don't need to do anything other than go for Eruption here. It won't kill him, but uh, one, it'll force him to recover and use his last recover, and then I can just flamethrower spam on the Amoongus, as if Amoongus was beating Corbinite anyway. But um, it's just the best play. So 40 is not bad. Uh, so now we get to guard because he uses his final recover, and that is it. No more recovery for you, young man. As Amoongus finally comes in and gets red carded. Uh, the one time you don't want that red card. And so now Garg has to come in, but he can't heal. Yeah. So now um, I can go back to my Garg and Salt Care every time. But the problem with the Amoongus play is that you're not getting anywhere, right? So the moment Typhlosion comes in, you just lose another mod. So. Uh, there's several ways to go about this. Uh, Corv isn't losing to either of them. I know he's going to spore anyway, but Corv isn't losing to either of them. So, we can just stay in here in, in Iron Defense. Garg has to take more damage than he's dealing. Um, I can go Pix. He has to Salt Cure. If I Infestation Trap, he's done for. And he knows it. Yep. You know it, bro. You know it. Z forfeits here. So that was a long ass fucking game. I, that first game really killed my vibe. I'm not gonna lie to you. And then this next second game is long as shit. But I'm gonna grab one more. I told you, bros. This Typhlosion team is the is the shit. Uh, the Gold Duck, I didn't know what it had. Like sometimes I think it learned Psychic. But I've also seen some with Grass Knot for things like Sloking and you know, things of that nature. I believe it gets Psy Shock. Um, hmm. I don't know. But anyway, let's, uh, let's grab one more. I was going to say, you notice whenever we get to 1850, we get hacked right. Like every time I get right there, ridiculous bullshit happens every game. After, every time. So let's see um, what we have in store. It's a very weird team. Um, very, very strange team indeed. Uh, I need to protect my Garg at all costs because it's king here. Pex is very annoying too. My Pex is very annoying versus this team. Very much so. He has two potential triggers. So that's my thing, right? Uh, my Typhlosion is very dangerous. But if it's AV Pex, then it's less so. Corviknight is not that great beyond the Dozo. Tusk is very hard for him to deal with, so Dozo will likely lose his item and losing his item plus rocks. And Typhlosion is having a lot of fun. Garg, very hard to switch into. Very, very hard to switch into. So rocks plus Garg is almost a done deal. Uh, do I need my turn on anything else? Hmm. Terrifier on Typhlosion is low key lit, but and beyond that, it should be fine. Uh, I know some of these Sandy Shocks, these Sandy Shocks are running, um, what's it called? Fucking, like Terra Fairy and such like that, things like that. If I force him to Terra Fairy, then he can't Terra anything else. Meaning like if I lead Tusk and just EQ. If he Terra Fairies, I'll just pick. Yeah, I'll serve twice. If he is Volt Switch, so be it. This is his, clearly his Hazarder. What I don't want is to turn to have Volt Switch. He doesn't have any good, um, so he's... Okay, let's see if he has Terra Fairy, huh? Hmm. 
<laughs> well, I suppose he could have had thunderbolts. Thunderbolts. Not the earth power and thunderbolt are the same. Yeah, earth power is, is 90, right? Data earth power. Yeah, so thunderbolt and the earth birth. So, ugh. <laughs> fucking fuck you, bro. Fuck you, nigga. Bitch. You're trash. You're nothing. Yep. Well, I forced the Terra. There's an upside there. Yeah. The upside is I forced the Terra, I suppose. It's AV picks. <sighs> alas, alas, alas. Mm -mm -mm. Let me calm down. I can feel I'm very, getting very agitated. Mm -mm -mm. How do I win this? My pex wall is the majority of his team. Still. My, my fucking... So if I were to Torkoal and he infestations this turn... She don't need my son. Goes to Sandy Shocks. Which is a good double. I, I don't think it was a good play, but a good double in that rare case. Because it's like, okay, well the position's well versus this guy. Because he has a special attack boost. One issue I'm having is that my team is slow. So I could Terra and survive the, the Earth Power and kill this. That would mean I couldn't Terra Guard, which leaves me susceptible to, to, to um, Gambit. And Pex to a lesser extent. And potentially Valiant. Well, no, not really. Valiant usually can't touch Rock types. Unless it's physical. Oh, what to do here? This is an issue. My alternative, I, I kind of... Do I, man, that one turn one fucking spadev drop caused all this. The Sandy Shocks would be dead because I wouldn't switch my torque, my picks out. So you'd have to choose between rocks or attacking. So Sandy Shocks is dead. Great Tusk is a lot. Like, it's fucking ridiculous, dude. And I knew he'd rocks. I just didn't know his set. So if he wasn't rocks and I lose my picks there, obviously that's going to be a big issue. <sighs> Alas. Damn, I have to play like a fucking king here after this. <laughs> you cannot make. You can't make this shit up, bro. Like, you really cannot. Like, I tear and this motherfucker still. Still crits me. <laughs> Why does the crit matter, Jam? Well, I could actually spin versus this team. Believe it or not. Right? Crazy, right? Sheesh. Oh my god. This, this is going to be an interesting ass game. When I can prevail. You know your boy never quits. You know your boy never quits. Once I have guard Corby alive. So rocks are forever on the, on the field now. Shouldn't be the case. Especially because I think. Let me see what's Torkoal speed. No, Torkoal is naturally slower than Dozo. Though with the sun up, I might. If Dozo does, yeah. And this, depending on what, how much the the Earth power would have done. If it did, if it did, if it did. Uh, so he's trying to trap me with Corby, with Pex. But the sun turns up. Actually, guard makes sense here. I'm gonna fuck you up, bro. It's, it's a tough ass situation for sure. For sure, he's faster than my guard. Well, I don't run a ton of speed. So EQ plus cure, the, the turn of sun would be, well he's going to get me low enough to where it might matter. But his pex would be gone, which means Typhlosion gets opened up a little bit. My pex gets opened up a lot of bit. So if he serves, I won't die. Because um, it's essentially neutral. Earthquake plus salt cure. He'd, okay I could have recovered. That did a lot less than I expected. <laughs> One percent, bro. One fucking dirty ass percent. Are you gonna give me pecs? Probably. The way you just played that, I'd assume that's what you want to do. So here comes Gambit. Dozo. Okay. I'll take Dozo all day. 
all day to this day because this is your one little fire resist so soon blaze tie flosion might do its damn thing my pecs being alive is big so speed boosting valiante but that's the thing valiant can't typically touch guard unless it's swords dance Unless it's, unless it's Terra fighting. I mean, but if it's special, yeah, it is Swords Dance. Mm. So, what would he have? Knockoff? Well, I'll slap Torkoal to see. Uh, I might lose my AV here. Well, actually, Bold. Bold. I mean, I'll still get the reaction. If he SDs again, I'm done. Let me count this. Valiant shouldn't be able to knock me out because he got a speed boost. Iron Valiant. I actually have this team imported. Where's the shit at? This is the one I imported, right? I have this shit imported somewhere. Okay. Toxapex. Custom set. Iron Valiant. OU Sword Zance. Plus two. Knock never kills. I'm staying in. Die. Die, bitch. Die, bitch. Die, bitch. I was five seconds left. Wow. I didn't realize my timer was that low. I lost my AV, which kind of matters, but not really. Not not that much. Like, Zoroark wasn't... Like, it doesn't matter versus those. It doesn't matter versus Gamma. It doesn't matter versus... It does matter versus his. It does. It does matter versus his. Him getting the secondary kill matters, too. Um, so I got a hard Corvy uh, as he SDs. I gotta hope that I'm faster. I don't think body press will never kill. Uh, it's faster. Actually, mm, that's close. I think I'm pleased with it. He's gonna switch. Yeah, okay. Blessed. Um, he's gonna try the infestation. I uh, can't acid spray. Infestation. Oh shit! Why did I, I can't believe I forgot about the Zorark? Oh my god, that was the biggest throw of all time. I can't believe I forgot about the Zorark, bros. Now this kind of matters. Oh that fuck! I I completely forgot about the Zorark because I all I would have done was sacked fucking Torkoal there. Oh my god, let me see. Dozo. If I guard, Dozo is in, is, is in trouble. If I curse up enough, I can sweep him back though. So I, I need to be... T depending on what the Dozo is, I mean both his moves are going to be super effective. Let's curse Dozo himself. Okay. So he doesn't want me to trap this tree. He's gonna go back to Toxapex. Why in God's name would you liquidation? This guy is trash. Okay, blessed. Me infestation trap. I don't know why he stayed in. Cause now Typhlosion has a legitimate chance. Um. Cause my core of his scarf now. Which means you die to body press. That's the big thing. Uh, it goes hard packs. I needed to make that play though. I'm gonna double. Oh no. Specs being faster than mine is an issue. Give Garg up. Oh, it's the, the Zorark. All right, the immunity. What am I saying? Uh, let's see. It's forty-three percent. What I lose now to Gambit? Yeah, as I told you, bros. Every time I get to eighteen fifty, some bullshit. Literally, this entire game got changed by the Sandy Shocks, Pedev drops, and crit. And I could have pulled it back there. My fault by the Zorak. I completely forgot about the Zorak there. Um, 
if I was in Blaze, uh, not even Blaze would matter. Uh, yeah, not even Blaze would matter. I suppose what I could try is, since I know, no, nah, that won't work either. He just goes to Gambit and Sucker, because it's guaranteed to win at that point. Yeah, if I didn't allow him to trick my Corviknight, I had a shot. So if I went Torco there, it would be great for two reasons. One, I'd be able to switch my tour. Yeah, it's over. Like, there's no way to choke this. Because um, I'm Choice Carve now. It's not true. He katowed. He did try to choke. Why would you katow? If I flamethrower, you lose. All you need to do is sucker there. You can't make this shit up, bros. This dude's trash and fucking hexed. Uh, 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 talk about the most frustrating fucking climb, man. God damn. Like, what does a motherfucker have to do to, to get some clean games in here? And what's crazy is I never hex my opponents. Like, I never get hacks wins. Not that I want them, but it's like very aggravating to continually go up and down to shit out of your control, you know? But it is the name of the game. We're going to wrap it up there. Um, two tough ones today, but it is what it is. Hopefully I'll enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.